back. And we're moving into our final segment for today as we find out more about a fun clothing drive that's coming up. We have with us representatives of the Leo Omega, Omega Ubuntu, Ubuntu Club. Club. Right? <laughs> and we have on set with us Joy Stan, who is the second vice president, and we have the marketing coordinator, Catherine Espada. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So nice to have you guys in. So, first of all, <laughs> we got to understand the differentiation between the names. clubs. Yes. Right? So, we know that Leos are a part of the, the Lions Club. Right. Right? So, but what is the Leo Omega Ubuntu? Omega Ubuntu? Okay, so. The first difference is in age. Okay. Our lions are 30 years and older. Not to say that people under 30 can't join. Okay. But that's why we started to separate the clubs. Okay. Initially, it was just lions. Now we have our Omega Leos. Ubuntu is something we in Belize came up with for our okay. Omega Club. And Omegas are from 18 to 30. Okay. okay. After that, we have our baby Leos, our Alpha Leos, and they're from 12 to 18. Mm -hmm. Everybody is geared at service to, to the community. Um, lions generally they focus on eyes, helping people who have yeah. eye problems. But um, for us, we kind of want to stem off into helping different organizations okay. in Belize. You know, you did mention that uh, you guys came up with the Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Ubuntu. What is what? What is it? What, Ubuntu is I am because we are. Mm -hmm. It is basically a humanity slang. So it is geared towards com community for humanity. Oh. Us helping others. So I am because you are. I am helping you because you need help, you know? Ubuntu. So yeah. that is yeah. what we are geared towards. Lions on a whole, helping the community, getting people back on their feet, yeah. people that are very in need when it comes to disasters that are beyond their, you know, beyond their expectation. They don't expect things to happen. People that just don't necessarily have it and they're not going towards failure, but things happen in life and so we come in to help. Okay, what was Why are you both involved in this? Yeah. Stuff? What got you started? Okay, so mm -hmm. Personally, I was a part of the Alpha before. Mm -hmm. so was, I've been their president before in years past. Um, but personally, I've always enjoyed giving back to the community. Okay. Um, Education-wise, career-wise, I've studied social work. So um, it's just always been a passion for me to give back, empower, and help to build the society to where I think it needs to be. Yeah. For you, Joy? Same thing, basically. Growing up, your grand, my grandmother um, was in the Diabetes Association, so you're always geared towards helping. And psychology background, you love counseling people, you just love being around people, and especially when you see situations happen, the first thing you want to do naturally for me is help. Mm -hmm. So having young persons like us to represent what's going on and what can be done as a young person in Belize, we like to show that just because you're young doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be in a party setting. You could actually do fun things while helping others at the same time. You've captivated a lot of people just by saying that. And they would, you know what, I, I would want to be a part of this club. So what do I have to do to be a part of the club? Okay, so currently we have one Facebook page under the Belize City Alliance Club. You could always send a message there and they will give you the different uh, meeting dates. Mm -hmm. um, because for, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. for our Leos, our Alphas, they have a certain date that they meet. For our Omegas, we have a certain date that we meet and our Lions have a different day that they meet. So you send a message there, they'll invite you to a general meeting, you hear what's, the, what's their focus for that month, because yeah. every month we try to have a different service project. So you hear what's the focus for that month, and then you decide, okay, this is something I want to be a part of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you have to be committed. I mean, groups like mm -hmm, these, right. you don't just want people joining to say I'm a part of a club. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. That's a major factor. A lot of people don't have, don't have the time. Yeah to volunteer their services. Yeah. Um, but we have some members who can't come as often as they would like, but they assist in terms of when we have a fundraiser, they sell our tickets, they help us market that event. Yeah. So they help how they can, but we would really appreciate hands in helping. Yeah. yeah. What is it like to have the experience of 
like-minded people together, especially as young adults in society. You know, I'm sure you have friends who really don't even know what's happening. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, it's real. Yeah, uh, it but then you get to get together with your other, other Leos and realize that you're not the only one mm -hmm. paying attention and saying, we got to do something. What's that feeling like for you, the camaraderie? It's actually a self-fulfilling yeah. experience yeah. because you could actually relate to your age run not necessarily sticking in one corner yeah it means that you do have part of society that is still locked into helping others and most people look at our society and our age run from 18 to 30 as selfish people they don't look as that as you and know the and selfie that's just generation the, you know <laughs> the selfie generation so they don't look at us as people that will just get up early in the morning or stay out late at night to help. Yeah. So when we get together and we actually formulate a, a fundraiser, an event, or we're going out to do community service together, you feel a sense of relief and a sense of fulfillment that you have accomplished something rather yeah. than just being on a goal path because you know 18 to 30 you're trying to get your goals done yeah. Yeah. but you're actually helping someone else get there too Excellent. so it's self-fulfilling I, I love that i love the way she uh, you know you put that there and for you yeah it's refreshing because like you said you have a lot of people that just don't even know what's going on in their country yeah so it and it's very motivating to be around people that can see what you're seeing and are willing to say, you know what, let's, let's make a change. If no one is willing to do this with us, we're going to do this and we're going to leave our impact here. Okay. Now, yeah. there are quite a few clubs of uh, different age groups and they all have their own identity. Some are more just fundraisers and, and, and fun stuff and networking and some are more service oriented. And, and like, everybody has their objectives. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the identity of the Leo Omega Ubuntu is? What makes you stand apart from the rest? Well, I think our name for in itself speaks mm -hmm. um, because Leo actually stands for leadership, mm -hmm. uh, and experience, experience and, and opportunity. opportunity. Yeah. So it's not just giving back mm -hmm. yeah. you're also experiencing these things and leo's lions is a worldwide organization yeah mm -hmm. so then um you have conventions abroad and you get to experience new places new yeah. people and like you mentioned like-minded people yeah. that mm -hmm. are willing to serve so it's just like this really big family mm -hmm. that you know you get to identify with mm -hmm. yeah oh, wow you know what uh, you, one of the things that stand out to me is you did mention that you know you help with people with eye problems mm -hmm. yeah. so how often are we seeing these help coming around and people wanting that help okay so we try to channel well lions try to channel yeah. their help through bcvi yeah mm -hmm. so um bcvi is already just an affordable clinic mm -hmm. yeah and if they realize that even at that rate you can't afford it then they could always refer you to the lions to me to maybe write a letter and say I need help or assistance with this particular glasses or yeah. with this eye exam, with this surgery. Yeah. And then the board meets and then they grant you assistance. Yeah. Um, they try to offer assistance in other areas. Like um, they do hampers mm -hmm. around Easter time. Mm -hmm. uh, we did the um, first baby to be born on New Year's. We yeah. try to give yeah. something yeah. there. Mm -hmm. um, so just small stuff like that, be just because eye screening or eyes are a major yeah. focus. Recently, they um, embarked on a project where we screen all the primary schools in Belize, wow. yeah. both private and public. Mm -hmm. And once um, your child is screened, we give you a formal note. And if you need further assistance, you go to BC there with your mm -hmm. note and the Lions Club pays for everything. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. That's, that's a flagship for, for Lions for many years. And, mm -hmm. and I think... A lot of people don't realize, make that connection with BCVI as well. Mm -hmm. And so as the, as the younger up and coming, the young professional group, um, you are embarking on your own fundraising drive right now. Mm -hmm. So tell me, why a clothing drive? Who are you trying to help? Okay, so <laughs> before we get there, I just want you guys to know that we are um, recently um, initiated. Okay. So we've just been really started about a month now this okay. is our first project oh good um oh wow we yeah. um 
we got the chance to meet with the representatives from the Welcome Center. Yeah. And they mentioned that they, w they needed clothing, yeah. mostly for men. Yeah. So that is how we came up with our clothes drive. Yeah. We teamed up with Scrubble mm -hmm. as well as with PowerAid. They're sponsoring our, power, our yeah. energy drink. Okay. <laughs> um, so how it's going to work is we're going to accept clothing whether it's male, female, or children, but yeah. our aim is male, male clothing. Yeah. Male clothing so go find all your male relatives, if you're a female, right. and see what you can get from <laughs> them. Yeah. I, I have no idea what the male population does with the clothing. I feel like you guys use it until like it's done. <laughs> so, but you know, it's for a worthy cause. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you come out and um, like it says, you give two articles of clothing per game. So yeah. a shirt and a pants, two shirts, two pants, and you get playtime. Um, oh, that's cool. Clothing yeah. equals playtime. Right. So clothing and if you've ever been in one of those, you want to. <laughs> if you've never, you want to, yeah. Yeah, so um, if, even if you have, whether it's you have kids or yeah. you're an ener energy-filled adult, you just yeah. want to try something new, and it's going to be on Sunday, the mm. day that everybody needs something to do, right? Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Take your kids to the park or stuff like that. So this weekend, let's take them to our bar field, yeah. cool. bring the clothes, and they get to enjoy a new experience if they haven't um, encountered and it's in the it. afternoon, so it's yeah. cooler too. Yeah, it's cooler. Right. It's it's by our our field. Field. Yeah. So the sun is already setting. Mm -hmm. They could nap in the morning, get their chores done, and head on over to our bar for you, right? right. <laughs> so let's demystify yeah. what this is. What is Scrubble? Well, Scrubble is a Belize-owned company by a young entrepreneur as well, Mr. Hoy. And uh, it's basically there they are, some yeah. very big plastic balls yeah. that you as an individual, a human, a human-sized ball could go in and you bounce around, you play football with a big ball. Mm. So or you just try to move. Exactly. <laughs> so you just <laughs> try to move. If you could hold on to it, you just try to move and you bounce around. Okay. If you want, you get on top of it. Mm -hmm. It's really fun and it's something different mm -hmm. rather than the basic football, scratch yeah. and pull your face kind of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. You actually have this big, big ball. Exactly. Big ball around you that you just, yeah. you know, shield with each other, bounce Always around. Always wanted to push somebody down. Exactly. Yeah. Scrub on, yeah. Um, as you can see, everybody is just like Bouncing having the time of their life. <laughs> exactly. Um, so like we said, the clothing is already, yeah. we're going to mm -hmm. give it to a particular yeah. organization. Um, thanks to our sponsor, PowerAid, we will be able to sell that particular drink. Okay. And mm -hmm. that money as well will be given back to the community. Everything we collect from the community mm -hmm. in kind yeah. or cash goes back into the community. Exactly. So you're making a donation and you're having fun while you do yes, it. So yeah. to get some playtime, you got to bring the goods. Yes. You got to bring the male clothing. That's the yeah. that's and you can bring all, all the clothing you want. You yeah. just mm -hmm. rejoin the line as much as, as you would so like. So pants and a shirt game. Yes. Yes. Right. Pants and a shirt pieces. game. Yes. Two, Two pieces. pieces. Pants, shirt, game. You get, shirt, a, you get game. to play. You see, I said I was going to go in, but I didn't bring any clothes to donate today. <laughs> we can put it on your tab. Ask anybody to strip in here, Steven. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, it seems like a fun game, and it's a very great initiative, of yes. course. Yeah. And like, like, like you mentioned, male clothing is prefer preferred. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, do you get you do pants shirt game? Mm -hmm. So, do you have like a bonus if you do pants shirt under shirt? <laughs> I'm or, trying to. No, remember it's for when it comes. Just yeah. bring as much as you possibly maybe, can. Oh. Maybe you could find two undershirts and then do a second game. That's yeah. a good game. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. No, right. and you're right. And and going back to the cause behind it, we, we mm -hmm. had the Welcome Resource Center here. Exactly. The opportunity for people who are living on the streets to go and take a shower and put on fresh clothes, it's giving them back their dignity. Yeah. And so they do need the clothing exactly. to help right. these people to do that. Do so actually. that's another thing to consider. Um, maybe if you can't do the pants and the shirt, maybe you could do like a pack of underwear or a pack of undershirts. Mm -hmm. That way it's brand new. Yeah, brand course. new, yeah. brand new. <laughs> There's nothing um, wrong with brand right. new. Exactly. So, I mean, even if your shirt and your pants are brand new, yeah. you know? Something to be used, something that they can you know supply themselves with sometimes it's cold out there yeah. they mm -hmm. don't necessarily stay at the welcome center right. no they just go there get a meal have mm -hmm. some relaxation time take a shower but it's literally back out on the street yeah. at night so time. you know it would help if even if you bring blankets as well bring what you can that you know someone 
someone can use. So it goes back to Ubuntu. I am, you are. Excellent. So bring in the clothes that you need because you know you as a person would need to have something to wear. Yeah. You as a person would need to have something to cover yourself yeah. with. So you put yourself in their position and you just bring what your heart tells you to bring. This is where the empathetic part of a Belizean should come out. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going out there, you take, a, take on a pants, shirt. Exactly. And you know, you're actually saving a life there. You're exactly. providing warmth to somebody. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It that. is. Mm -hmm. All right, John, get in your scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk about it and not show it. It's <laughs> right on, there. Yeah, I've okay. never been in one. Come on, Joy, let's go. You join me. Marnie, to come to you. You can join me too. All right, so we're going to see how much fun this is actually all going right, to all be. Right, all right. We're not going to bounce anybody. In one. <laughs> so there's a kid's one here and an adult one. Yes. All right, cool. So, of course, if you're small enough to fit here. I don't know. You I have can. To so, uh, what's going on? What's going to happen? So, you put the ball this way. I'm gonna have to take off my shoes here. Yes, please. Cause, are you are you ready? All right, I'm ready. Yeah, of course I'm taking off. No, shoes. it's set. <laughs> we don't want to break our feet here. Yes. So do you I'm just get in, and that's it. Wait, you know, just get in. Uh huh. You have to get in on your knees. Huh? Yes, sir, on your knees. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta crawl right. into it. Experience okay. so, it. So do I do that now? Yes, you can. All right, you get so on your knees, get on my knees and you put your both hands through here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you so put your two hands on if these. If you want to join in the fun, mm -hmm. and then you lift while you I get don't know up. if I'll fit in the kids' one, but we're going to try. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in water, though. Can I? <laughs> I feel like I'm in, in, I'm in water. I am getting okay. it. Grab onto these see? two things here. Okay, but I need to so, get up first. So how do you see wait, your wait, opponent? You have to grab those first though. Grab this? Uh-huh. So scoot down back. Please remember I'm trying to fit into the kids one. Okay, go back. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. There you go. Right. And then you put your two hands here. Okay. You have to put your hands through this. I don't know. to hold on to it. Uh-huh. Right, put your hand. Do the demo. In well, here? I guess. Uh -huh. but, 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 but I... that hand here. Okay. okay. Hey, don't come up yet. Hey. Don't come up yet. Uh -huh. Put your hand here. Wait, wait. Right here. Uh -huh. Okay. And then you lift while you come up. This is not working. There, you go. All right. there we go. You're here. I did I, it. I'm not able to. So now you guys are in the scuffle bubble. Okay, cool. Okay. I don't have a football. I'm, I'm no, we don't. But of course, I you need guys lion's can. help here because I'm visually impaired. I can't see. <laughs> but you follow my books. Now, you come over to John. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do as you please to John. There you like go. Like that. On the floor, you push around, you bounce around. You so, what are we doing? What is that? Exactly. You could imagine. You imagine trying to play football in this. Ah. Thank you. See the fun in it. <laughs> so please, adults, if you're in this ball and you're on the field, you experience bouncing around, something you can do. Most persons are not so energetic to flip around, but these will flip you over uh -huh. by itself and you do not get hurt. Yeah, There's no totally harm in it. You are perfectly fine. You can breathe. There's enough air. Mm -hmm. So come on out on Sunday evening at 3 at the hour bar and enjoy a fun evening filled while giving back to the community. Yeah. Woo, right. Woo, woo, woo. Wait, where, I'm going to tell you, part of the fun shirt. is trying to get up when you fall. Yes. <laughs> Pants and shirt. Pants and shirt. We, um, we need to do it. <laughs> I, I don't know what the competition is here. <laughs> There we go. It's just the boxy box. Alright. <laughs> so there we go. It is Woo. fun Friday after all. So we decided yep. to have some fun. <laughs> I'm trying to see my camera. Can I see anything? Which one? There you are. Oh, yeah, there you are. Yes. I, see. I see you on the so screen. So that's all the time we have for today. Uh, once again, do remember that the fundraiser takes place this Sunday at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. at the Hour Bar Field. You uh -huh. Bring two items of clothing and you get to get into this big plastic ball and have some fun. Take take the kids out, do something new, and have some fun. Cool. You know, it, it, it was a wonderful time. It feels nice in here. It is about, yeah. I think about three or four pounds, so it feels good. <laughs> you get a workout at the same time. Yeah, which is good, but all you need to do is bring out that pants, that shirt, and you get a chance to be a part of the game. Yes, exactly. Easy, easy, and you're actually providing warmth to somebody. 
Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> all right, and that's all the time we have for today. Yep. It has been Fun Friday after all. It has been, and as per usual, we continue to make it fun. Any questions, any concerns, drop us a line at O Y E at channel5belize.com. You can also email me at marlene underscore O Y E at channel5belize.com. Find us on Facebook at Open Your Eyes BZ and on Instagram at O Y E Belize. Remember to tune in on Monday morning at 6.30 when you open your eyes to... Stop your morning, right? <laughs> As for you, you keep your mind, your, your eyes, and yeah. your... And your heart so open. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Enjoy your day and weekend, Belize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>